In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use triple integral to work out the volume of a complicated 3D solid. So this is our complicated 3D solid. The purple surface is given by this. The red surface is given by this. So if you look at this, um, this is like a negative uh, paraboloid. So you've got to imagine this in your mind. It's a, a negative parabol paraboloid that is concaving down, a negative concavity. And this thing here is a paraboloid concaving up. So, uh, so it's going to, where the two will intersect, it's going to give you a 3D solid. And that's our 3D solid. So where the two surfaces intersect, it will be along here. It will be along here. It will be along here, like this. And uh, and then if um, if you look at where the two surfaces intersect, let's say here, um, straight down, you can project it straight down onto the x y plane. So it will f it will eventually form uh, an ellipse. So where the two surfaces intersect, project it straight down, and it will hit on the it will form an ellipse. So if you look at this bit here, um, project it straight down. And it will land on that ellipse. If you look at this bit here, right at the back, project it straight down, and it will hit the uh, the ellipse. So if you look at this point here, project it straight down, and then it will hit the ellipse. And if um, if you want to come up with the equation for this ellipse, um, look at where the two surfaces intersect. So if you want to know about this ellipse, set this to be the same as this. Because um, you, you want to know where the two surfaces would be the same. It would be the same along this curve. Which, which when, when you project it onto the XY plane, it will look like this ellipse. So if you want to know about this ellipse, set these two to be the same. So set these two to be the same. And then uh, rearrange it, and then it will then take you to, um, to, uh, to, it will then take you to here. So this is your ellipse. But I'm going to imagine this bit as uh, x over root 2 squared. So, so we know that along the, along the x-axis, this would be um, negative 1 over root 2. And then uh, from looking at this, this here will be positive, positive uh, 1 over root 2. So, uh, so to work out the volume, the volume is given by this. We now need to set up our, our limits of integration. So our next step is to set up the integral. So hang on. So our next step is to set up. So so this is our dv here. So I I I I have a choice of using dx, dy, dz. But I, in this case, I want to use dz first. So dz first would mean that um, we have to move parallel. To the z axis, so we have to move parallel to the z axis. Move parallel to the z axis. But um, if you so 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 looking at this dz here, it's going to be z equals something. Z equals something. Uh, looking at this y, it's going to be y equals something. Y equals something, and this is going to be x equals something x equals something. Uh, looking, at the, looking at this first one, z, it means that um, we've got to move parallel to the uh, z to the z axis. So let's, let's imagine we're here. Straight up, you will hit this surface and then you will, you will um, stop and leave when you hit the purple surface. So, uh, so looking at this, let's say you, you're here. You will move straight up and then you hit the uh, the red surface, and then you stop your integration when you leave the purple surface. So looking at this, um, you start you start anywhere along here. Let's say here, move straight up, and then you start your integration when you hit the bottom surface, which is this thing here. So uh, so that would be you start the integration at at five x squared. Um, plus uh, 5y squared so so you start your integration from here and then you stop when uh, when you hit this the purple surface well the purple surface is this thing here so that would be 6 minus 7x squared minus y squared
So uh, so so it always follows this same same pattern here. So uh, you you start anywhere here. Let's say let's say here, and then you hit the red surface, which is this bit here, and then you you stop your integration when you hit the purple surface, which is this bit here. So uh, so so that's our first part done. Now the uh, the Y. If you look at the ellipse, hang on, let me clear this up. Hang on. Bear with me. So um, if you uh, if you look at uh, the dy now, dy means look, looking at the ellipse, looking at the ellipse, looking at the ellipse. Um, you're actually moving parallel to the y-axis. 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 You're actually moving a parallel to the y-axis you're actually moving parallel to the y-axis so you start at um, at this thing here and then you stop at this thing here well we need to know more about the ellipse so uh, looking at the equation for our ellipse let's rearrange it uh, to make y the subject because we start at y equals this and then we stop at y equals this. So looking at, looking at the equation of the ellipse, make y the subject. So that would be um, that would be one minus two x squared, uh, and then you you square root both sides. Well, making y the subject will give you this positive version and the negative version. So uh, so this 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 is negative y here, and this here would be positive y. So you start at negative y, which would be negative 1 minus 2x squared. And then you stop at positive uh, 1 minus 2x squared. And uh, looking, at, uh, looking at the x, so you're scanning, you're scanning from, uh, from the edge of the ellipse. So you're, you're doing this, you're scanning from the edge of the ellipse the ellipse and then you're moving along you're scanning all the way from x equals this thing here and then you stop at x equals this thing here so you're scanning all the way through so this is remember this was um, negative 1 over root 2 and this thing here is positive 1 over root 2 so uh, you're scanning in terms of x you're scanning from negative 1 over root 2 to and uh, to positive 1 over root 2 positive 1 over root 2 so the integral is given by this um, I just want to stress some something um, notice that each time here when, when you're looking at the X you're looking at 2 2d each time you jump to dy you lose one dimension so now it's just y y equals something with one variable here you've got two variables x and y when you when you jump from dz to dy you lose one dimension so now uh, now it's just in terms of x and then when you jump to uh, to dx you lose another dimension so there is no x or y here it's just a constant from here to here so just just notice this pattern it will help you to remember um, each time you jump each time you jump you lose a dimension so when you start at dz you've got two dimensions x and y make the first jump you will lose one dimension so so now it's just the one dimension x and then uh, when you once you jump again you lose another dimension so it's just a constant well anyway this complicated volume is given by this thing here uh, and that thing there is this thing here so we're gonna follow on from the next video and we're gonna take off from here so the volume is given by this we're going to continue in the next video, okay?